Hello, my name is Teacher Bell and welcome to another tips, review, and tutorial. So today we are going to discuss misbehaviors in the classroom. Have you ever had students who just wants to argue or who just wants to interrupt the whole class? How do you think can you use reverse psychology? and use positive response to their misbehavior. Here are four things to remember. One, it's a little bit cliche, but being consistent will leave your students no choice but to adopt and follow the class rules and routines. Two, never give them a chance at all. Three, set up a calm space in your classroom. It does work as positive reinforcements to both misdemeanors and good behavior. And number four, do not react. We always tend to do that, but instead respond. Here's a scenario number one. When someone starts to argue, stop them at once and say, I absolutely believe that your parents did not raise you the way you are acting now. The more extreme phrases and words you use, the better, if they do not care. So to respond to that, say, does your silence mean yes? Go ahead then, pick up the phone, and make a call to their parents. Again, do not give them a chance at all. Be consistent with this, even if it entails you stopping the whole class to do this intervention. Scenario number two. When someone starts to intentionally interrupt the class, ask unnecessary questions, or talks excessively, we teachers tend to respond with sarcasm. But do try to patiently respond positively. Divert their attention into something like can you please hand this to the teacher next door? Or, would you please do me a favor and pile these papers up for me? Just make sure to come up with something that you think might really interest them. This way, you are indirectly diverting their attention without them realizing that you're doing so. Scenario number three. We do have this one or two student who comes to class overwhelmed, defiant, or resentful. Again, do not react, do respond. Let's not try to bring out the worst in our students by reacting. Ignore as much, offer the calm space as much as possible. As long as he is still in class, his or her auditory skills are still in effect. And by bits and bits, he gets to listen to the lesson somehow. When all is calm, then that is the time for you to grab the opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one conference with that student. Again, do this consistently even if it takes time, even if sometimes it becomes already overwhelming for us. But then what can we do? This is what we signed up for. Misbehavior in the classroom is really a struggle for us uh, teachers, especially if there's one or two students who really are out of control. But doing this uh, four steps consistently, you might be able to control the students and again, leave them with no choice but to adapt to the rules. Uh.